it's all over but the cry. With the world poised on the brink of war, vault is reporting a record number. But me. Folks, uh, it seems we, we've got some breaking news. Stand by. It's all over. No, I'm dry. Fusion scientists from all over the world have come together in Eder to build a tokamak, a fusion device that is based on the principle of magnetic confinement. The interior of a tokamak is shaped like a donut. Here, temperatures exceeding 150 million degrees Celsius force atoms of deuterium and tritium to fuse together, forming a hot plasma. The plasma must be kept in motion in the center of the chamber and away from the walls of the vessel. This is the job of the superconducting coils that surround the tokamak. With ITER, a new chapter in the book on fusion research will be opened, a book that scientists began to write some 80 years ago. This nuclear fusion reactor is also known as the Star Creator because it's designed to spark and control a self-sustaining synthetic star. The world's largest experimental tokamak reactor is currently being built by the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER. ITER is essentially the CERN of nuclear fusion and is under construction in France just less than 200 miles due south of CERN. Quote, if all goes according to plan, the most complex machine ever built will be switched on in an alpine forest in the south of France. The machine will stand 100 feet tall and it will weigh 23,000 tons, more than twice the weight of the Eiffel Tower. At its core, densely packed high precision equipment will encase a cavernous vacuum chamber in which a super hot cloud of heavy hydrogen will rotate faster than the speed of sound, twisting like a strand of DNA as it circulates. The cloud will be scorched by electric current, a surge so forceful that it will make lightning seem like a tiny arc of static electricity, and bombarded by concentrated waves of radiation. Beams of uncharged particles, the energy in them so great it could vaporize a car in seconds, will pour into the chamber, adding tremendous heat. In this way, the circulating hydrogen will become ionized and achieve temperatures exceeding 200 million degrees Celsius, more than 10 times as hot as the sun at its blazing core." End quote. Eater will be the hottest phenomenon in the solar system, ever. No one even knows Eater's true cost, which may be incalculable, but estimates have been rising steadily and a conservative figure rests at $20 billion, a sum that makes Eater the most expensive scientific instrument on Earth, even surpassing CERN. Similar to CERN, ITER is essentially a makeshift scientific United Nations. 35 countries, representing more than half the world's population, are invested in the project, which is so complex to finance that it requires its own currency, which is called the ITER Unit of Account. ITER's tokamak, which is hoped to be completed by 2020, will feature the largest system of superconducting magnets in the world. Aside from CERN, it is considered to be the single most ambitious, complicated, and expensive scientific engineering endeavor in human history. Like a perpetual sun providing renewable power for the whole world. Are you sure you could stabilize the fusion reaction? The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. To forget about how much I care for you. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Stand by. We do, we do have. Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you.